Hello everyone, I am Anisha Kanagaraj. I teach IB Computer Science and MOIP Design in Kodakanal International School. I am going to give an introduction to the subject IB Computer Science and this will explain what is expected from the course, prior learnings needed, the subject outline, the differences between SL and HL's course and the future scope. So computer science is a group 4 subject, it is an experimental science and it is offered with other science subjects. Computer science is offered both at a higher level and standard level. In this subject, students study the design development and analysis of software and hardware used to solve problems in various businesses in scientific and social context. This course is recommended for students who enjoy programming and problem solving, which are the main elements of the course. IB Diploma Program is a balanced program of education, widely accepted and respected by institutions around the world. The way our students learn is underpinned by the IB learner profile. In the lessons, we look for our students to become inquirers, communicators and risk takers. What prior learning is needed for the subject? Past experience shows that students will be able to study computer science at standard level successfully with no background or previous knowledge of computer science. Their approach to study is characterized by specific IB learner profile attributes. Students who have undertaken IB middle years program or studied a similar course before commencing the IBDP would also be well prepared. The study of computer science at HL demands a higher level of problem solving skills and the ability to understand and manipulate abstract concepts. Although no previous knowledge of computer science is required, some exposure to programming is desirable. Now moving on to the subject line, this course is offered at standard and higher levels. The course is divided into three parts, the core, the option and the internal assessment. In paper one, the topics of the courses are system fundamentals, computer organization, networks, computational thinking and problem solving. Both SL and HL students study these four topics and three additional topics are included for higher level students. They are abstract data structures, resource management and control systems. In paper two, higher level and uh, standard level students are given the choice to select one of the options from the four areas that are databases, modeling and simulation, web sciences and object oriented programming. Next one is internal assessment. It is for everyone. Both HL and SL students will do that. In internal assessment, students are expected to program a practical application of a product that solves the problem for the selected clients. This product can be developed in any programming language of student's choice. Programming language competency is mainly assessed in the internal assessment. The programming language of student's preference can be Java, Python or any other language of their choice. In the past, students have developed digital games, mobile phone apps, web-based applications and online shopping stores. HL students have an additional component of the case study, which SL students doesn't have to do. The case study is an additional subject content that is published yearly. It's new every year. Students are best expected to investigate and research the topics that are introduced through them through the case study. In the past three years, case studies were about CGA, autonomous cars, bitcoins and cryptocurrencies. Then choosing between the HL and SL largely depends on students' interest in the subject, future study plans and time commitments. IBO guide states that both SL and HL students study the same core content. However, HL students delve deeper into some topics as I mentioned earlier and study additional content like computational thinking and problem solving which are invaluable skills in today's world. And then about the future scope, 90% of computer science degree students had studied the subject at higher level indicating that HL can provide a more comprehensive foundation for further studies in the field. On the other hand, if you have a casual interest or wish to pursue computer science alongside other demanding subjects, the SL course might be more suitable.
studying computer science at any level can equip you with essential digital literacy skills and enable you to understand a technology-driven world better. The students planning to have further studies in software engineering or networking or data sciences and artificial intelligence, this course is recommended. Different universities have different requirements. It is important that you consider this while choosing the right course for you. Thank you.